One of my favorite drills, absolute favorite drills, is it's basically a box jump. So go next to a net. And I know this is kind of hard for people to, to, to do this, but if you can get a plyo box that sits you at about 90 degrees, so that your knees are bent at 90 degrees, and you can sit on that box or that garbage can or cooler, whatever you need, have somebody toss a ball higher or lower in front of you. When they toss that, see if you can be on the edge of that box, pick up your feet again, and stomp the ground as quickly as you possibly can to jump and go and attack that ball. Most people will try to get on their feet, they hold on their feet, and then they slow kind of squat into it. The key is to have your feet, when you have that final impact of your feet, on the ground for as short amount of time as possible so that you learn how to explode and when it's right to explode because you have to be able to hit the ground with the shortest amount of time possible in order to do this drill properly. So I sit on the edge of the box, right? Brandon throws a ball up that I'm going to spike. When I know that I can move at max velocity, then I stomp my feet on the ground and jump in one motion. And then I go and spike. That's going to tell you like, ah, okay. So the ball can be hanging in the air. Brandon could have released the ball. He could have set the ball. And that was not my cue to go. My cue to go is when I can explode onto the ball. So that's one of the drills that we really, really, really like is to be able to do that. You can also then convert this. Once you're done with that box, have somebody balanced on their left foot. I don't necessarily, I'm not a huge fan of complete balance on the left foot, but I do like to have maybe 2% of your weight on your right foot. Okay. Your knee should be over your toe because you should already be in your acceleration pattern. So you should be leaning forward, getting a little bit of pressure so that your knee is going over your toe and you've got that big forward lean and then do the exact same drill. Coach, toss, but fake toss, you know, try to get that player to move Mm -hmm. based on what you're doing when they should be just finding the timing in the air. So we do this a lot where we hold the ball, we put a player on their left foot and we say, okay, you're going to go only when you can go fast. Ready? And then you fake a toss and they immediately start going because your arms moved. Instead, they should be waiting to see the ball in the air. Then when they know it's their time to go, probably after the peak, uh, just after the peak on the way down, that's when players can really accelerate, right? But the higher the set, the longer you're going to wait after the peak to go and attack that ball. So this drill becomes very important, understanding that the ball can be in the air and you're not yet in an acceleration pattern in any way. That has to be included in your drill repertoire if you're working on your timing.